is asinine as Governor Cuomo receiving an Emmy Award for his COVID-19 briefings. Joining us now with more, Congressman Lee Zeldin and Congresswoman Lee Stefanik, both from the state of New York. Welcome to you both. How are you? Good Great. to be with you, Good Trey. Good to see you, Trey. Elise, let me start with you. I sat beside you for two years. I know how much family means to you. It must be infuriating when elected officials and politicians tell others they cannot meet with their family, and yet they do it themselves. It is absolutely infuriating. I am celebrating Thanksgiving with my family. We need to make sure that individuals are making the best decisions for themselves and take public health seriously, but we should absolutely not be celebrating or following Governor Cuomo's edicts that we can't be with family for Thanksgiving. But what's most hypocritical, Trey, is that Governor Cuomo today said he is spending his Thanksgiving with his 89-year-old mom and his daughters who are traveling. So again, it's rules for thee, but they don't apply to me. That is why New Yorkers are so frustrated, and that is why he is the worst governor in America. I'm going to hold that thought. I'm going to come back to you on that one. Lee, you uh, served our country in uniform and you were also a prosecutor. You got to help me reconcile the governor in Oregon who wants the cops called. If you see someone sitting too close to their grandmother at Thanksgiving, but don't call the cops when the federal courthouse in Portland is under assault for weeks and weeks. Help me understand that. Exactly. So the governor of Oregon imposes this uh, restriction, whether it's indoors or outdoors, you can't have more than six people. But if you want to call your group, your social gathering Antifa, and attack a federal courthouse, as you point out, or attack law enforcement, innocent civilians who want to go loot some businesses, uh, well, then that will be celebrated. And you had elected officials in Oregon and Seattle referring, celebrating this as some type of mostly peaceful protest uh, and defending them and giving them cover. Uh, in Oregon, interestingly enough, they go, even further than Nevada, where Nevada, whether your church is uh, a capacity of 200 or 2,000, you can only have 50. You move over to Oregon, you can only have a capacity of 25, and it doesn't matter how big your church is. In Nevada, you can only have four people at your table. In New Jersey, the state wants the law enforcement to go door to door with head counts on Thanksgiving. Law enforcement's pushing back on it. And as you mentioned, you have that experience as a prosecutor. You have common sense. We are a nation of personal responsibility and individual liberty and that shall not be infringed. Limitations proposed by the government on businesses and persons must pass a smell test, and it better not lack common sense. And those same law enforcement officers in Oregon that that governor wants people to call to uh, report on your neighbor are the same law enforcement officers that, these, that this party and these members and their mayors and others are calling for defunding the police and stabbing them in the back. Uh, so it's inconsistent, but maybe we, the three of us are the ones who don't get it because Cuomo gets an Emmy. Maybe the governor of you know New Jersey should get an Oscar and the Oregon governor should get a Grammy and heck, give the Tony Award to the governor of Nevada. Maybe we're the ones who don't get it. Well, who would have ever guessed that the reason we need to fund the police is so they can arrest families at Thanksgiving in Oregon? Uh, Elise, you mentioned Governor Cuomo. I, I really thought it was satire when I, when I first heard that he had won an Emmy. It reminded me of President Obama winning the Nobel prize for peace after he'd been in office for about 10 days. Uh, what is your reaction? Y'all both are from New York, both of you. What is your reaction, Elise, you first, to Governor Cuomo winning an award for his handling of COVID? It is absurd, Trey. And look no further than the tens of thousands of families in New York who had loved ones living in nursing homes who have lost those loved ones because of the fatal, flawed decision of sending seniors, putting their health at risk. That decision was made by Governor Cuomo. So unless it's for an Emmy for the horror show of the nursing homes during COVID under Governor Cuomo's rule in New York, he deserves that type of enemy for Dr. Death. He does not deserve the praise he is getting from the mainstream media. He has the worst record of managing COVID, and he also has overreached his power. He has smeared law enforcement as we are heading towards this holiday week celebrating Thanksgiving. Many of our sheriffs 
sheriffs, both from Lee Zeldin's part of New York and my part of upstate New York, they are not going to enforce these rules because the rules that the governor has set, not allowing families to get together, law enforcement's always busy during the holidays. They know that they need to focus on real law enforcement issues, not tearing families apart. So I think it's just absurd. I think it's typical from the Hollywood far left. They are so disconnected from the realities and really the failed leadership that every New Yorker understands under Governor Cuomo's just abject failure this past year. Well, Congressman Zeldin, uh, Elise said he's the worst governor in the country. Uh, is that uh, you agree with that or is there one we're missing? Well, it seems to be a, a, lot, a bunch of other governors right now looking to compete for that title. Uh, but Governor Cuomo stands out uh, in many fronts. I mean, early on, he was saying that other states can't impose their own restrictions on New Yorkers going to their states that would be declaring war on New York. Uh, and then as soon as the, some of the numbers started to turn in New York, we started declaring restrictions imposed on all these uh, dozens of other states around uh, the entire country. We now have, you can't go to the gym after 10 o'clock. Who cares if somebody wants to go work out after 10 o'clock? Actually, talking about not passing a smell test and lacking common sense, you're now just forcing people to go work Work out during fewer hours during the day, and that means that there's going to be a higher density of people. So it's counterintuitive. In New York City, they just closed the schools, but we need our kids in school. That's where it's important for their well-being, for their education, for their health. Uh, and we're seeing a almost an almost 0.0 percent spread between kids inside of, of the school system. But you know, again, he's the one who ends up getting the the award. Now the, he might want you know Governor DeSantis or some other governor to get blamed for all the nursing home deaths in the state, but being a leader is about accepting responsibility and accountability. And the last thing I'd say, too, is that this president and his administration, have they have delivered for New York. And whether when Governor Cuomo was asking for the USNS comfort, the administration sent it. The Javits Center converted into a field hospital. The PPE that was sent here, the testing approvals, uh, the, all of the, the funding that, was, that, that came to the state. Meanwhile, during that Emmy presentation today, the governor, they actually played a clip of the governor saying that the federal government has not provided any help to the state. That's just not true. Uh, so the governor has been uh, very adversarial in many fronts, especially as November 3rd uh, got closer. And that lack of honesty is one that shouldn't be praised. It's one that actually deserves more accountability. And I guess that's why you know, you're here. You're asking the tough questions. There are others doing the same. Uh, but meanwhile, he's collecting his Emmy Award and his payday on his book. Elise Stefanik, Lee Zeldin, uh, it's hard being a Republican in New York. Thank you for what you do. Happy Thanksgiving to both of you. Tonight, COVID-19 infections are on the rise.